It's so nice. Soft, soft, soft. Pull it up and on and it's amazing. kind of video. I'm going to be showing you my favorite dresses for pregnancy and postpartum and just mom dresses in general. Some of these dresses are not from maternity brands so absolutely anybody can wear them. Anyone who just likes a comfortable flowy style especially geared towards pregnant and breastfeeding mamas. Be easy to just throw on when you're on the go as a mama. A little bit of background on my clothing style. I love clothes and feeling good in the clothing that I'm wearing, but I don't necessarily have the budget to be constantly purchasing the newest, trendiest clothes all the time. If I'm in a place where I can buy clothes, I'll typically buy a dress. It will have to be a dress that I just fall in love with and I love and I know I'm gonna wear all the time and it's just gonna become a staple. I don't really buy it if I just sorta like it or I think I'll wear it. It's like, I know I'm in love with it, I know I'm gonna wear it all the time and it's gonna be a good investment for me in my closet. So my very first favorite dress that I'm gonna show you is one that Naya's mom actually got for me. I was about two months or three months pregnant with Ever. She just thought it would be great for when I get big in pregnancy and then also just nursing afterwards. And it has been my favorite go-to dress. It's so nice. It's just one of those dresses that you have for a really long time because the quality is just so good. The quality is just amazing. So this is from a really nice brand and I do think she got it on sale. It's from the brand Philly Boo, which is, gosh, it's kind of like my goals. Honestly, all their maternity dresses are so gorgeous and I would just love to have every single one. I'm somebody who's a sucker for dresses and comfortable cute dresses that make you as a mama just feel confident. So many gorgeous dresses and if you find them on sale you can get pretty good deals and they are good quality so you know you'll be wearing them for a long time through motherhood and such. This is one of my favorites. It's just super long maxi. It's kind of high low but it is a maxi if that makes sense. It's just this kind of beige and cream striped tank style short sleeve dress. I would have this dress so many different patterns because I just love it. The material is soft, 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 and only gets softer the more you wash it. Super stretchy and comfortable for your growing belly and nursing. My second favorite dress is not actually a dress. It's actually a skirt, a maxi skirt. It's this tie-dye maxi skirt that I personally wear as a dress sometimes. It's just what I do sometimes, it's easy. You just pull it up and on and it's amazing. I got this actually from a local store, but there's so many comfortable maxi skirts that you can find like this. I can link some down below for you. Motherhood can be weird, but cute at the same time. This is kind of a weird thing that I do, but I don't know, it's kind of like a mama hack in my opinion. That's why I love it. My third favorite dress is also from <laughs> Naya's mom. It is from a conscious company, organic company called Groceries Apparel, and they're just based out of California. A maxi high-low dress again. It's just this faded gray stripe pattern. I love the style of it. It's just these straps, these adjustable straps with a kind of low neckline, super easy to nurse. I love dresses with pockets. I just love Groceries Apparel because it's a nice brand and it's also eco-friendly. It's coming from a good place so I like this dress a lot and it's a big staple in my closet. The next dress I'm going to show is one that I wear all the time because it's just once again so easy to throw on and I feel really put together. It's also from a local store. I can link some similar ones down below. Wonderful for breastfeeding and super comfortable. A long aqua maxi with these strings that hang down the front. You can tie them around your neck and make it a halter, like, like that kind of style, or you can just leave it as a strapless dress. So I love this maxi dress because it makes me feel good. You know, I love it. It's a staple in my closet and it's comfortable. It's lasted me and I love it. And it wasn't very expensive either. So it was a good buy. The last dress that I'm gonna show you from my closet is this beautiful orange floral dress. The perfect neckline for breastfeeding. High, low, pretty long maxi dress. Essentially, when I saw this dress, I instantly 
saw this pattern dress and knew that I needed it as well as seeing this kind of neckline because I really like dresses like this. It cinches at the waist and has like a string that goes around the waist. Super open neckline which I really like. I don't have a super expansive closet. These are the majority of my dresses. I probably just have one or two more random ones. You know, like I have this blue one in a green style as well. For the most part, this is the majority of my closet right here are these comfortable dresses. Super simple and easy and wearable for me as a mama living in Hawaii. Of course, if you're living in a really cold climate, this won't be too helpful for you. The style is just simple, modern, boho. I like maxi dresses. I just strive for having good quality in a minimal way. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at my favorite dresses in my closet and the things that I tend to wear as a mama of three babies. The things that I tend to throw on on a day-to-day -day basis. Comfortable, minimal, makes you feel confident, but in your skin. I'll make sure to link my favorite stores to shop from. Since I can't find the links to any of the dresses I showed you just because I purchased them a long time ago, I'm gonna leave five dresses down below in the description box that I would buy if I needed to buy more dresses right now. Last thing, I'm thinking of doing a live on You Now on Saturday at 12 p.m. Hawaii Pacific Standard Time. I'm thinking about doing that live, so let me know in the comments down below if you would come to the live. I would just be answering questions and maybe cooking. I don't know, any suggestions for what we could do during the live? I could cook lunch, I could, I don't know. Leave me suggestions down below and let me know if you would come to that. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more. I'll see you tomorrow.